Archim is a large-scale packet capture, indexing, and database system that provides a simple web interface for browsing, searching, and exporting PCAP files. The capture mechanism can passively listen on the network interface, or read existing packet capture data, or parse the traffic, track session profile information, SPI data, and write the raw packets to disk for later use and extraction. Uh, the first tab is the session. It basically shows you all the session. What you need to understand there is that um, all of the network packets are basically review and combined in session. So for this example here, one session is three packets. So if you were doing the same exercise with a tool like Warshark, you will see three different lines. Uh, in this case, you see only one, so that's helped the review. Um, Another instance here, you see that's 18, so one session, it's really 18 packets. Uh, on the top here, you see the uh, time exactly when the packet happens, so you can, if you want, select it, do this just to select the, uh, the zone there, and it will basically extend it. It can be useful to review some situation to see uh, the packets and where they happen. The SPI view, is when you can use all of the index. So when you send a capture of when the uh, capture straight from the network, it will take all of your packets and index everything. So for example, here it will show you all of the uh, destination IP you could find, the protocol, the service, so the source IP and so on. And you can easily select any field, any index that you want to add here. I'll give you an example here. So let's say email. If you're looking to know the uh, destination, so you're looking for the an email and for a specific destination, if it's not on the first line, you click the two button here, two arrow here, and you say, okay, I want to know all the receiver. You just click one time on it, and it will automatically find all of the receiver. You see all those emails here, and the number you see on the bracket, just there, the number one there, it just tells you there's only one session with this email address. Versus if I go back here, and you take um, this one here, you can see these five source IP address of 10.12.3.3, five sessions have this, this um, source IP address. Uh, let's say we take this one. If you want to filter on this one, just click on one time and you say then you say end and the filter will be added automatically on the top and you just have to press search and it will basically rerun the um, the SPI data to find and only the one you're interested to and it shows only one entry so now you can pivot to the session and you see this entry that we talk about. If you click to the plus sign, it starts to show you all the details about the session. The source packet, destination packets, the MAC address, destination port, and about the email, it will show you if there's any attachment. So the file name, it tell you what's the file name here. The MD5, the MD5 can be useful to uh, define if this file is known as a corrupt or if it's known as a vulnerability of malicious. Then you can just, you know, if you want to by this, you just click on the MD5 and you just copy the value. And you can directly go to URL host, for example. You go to browse and you enter the MD5 there directly. And you do the search and it show you, you know, the uh, all the tags related to this um, MD5. So that's confirmed to you that it's, um, this file is definitely uh, a bad one. And if you go further down, you see all the information about um, this email. It does include all of the response of the server when they send the email. 
and that will include the email itself. Here you see the content of the email. And using that, you can do some review and uh, and try to dig and to understand what's happened and try to understand exactly what's suspicious on this traffic there. The thing then you have to, let's go back to show that you're on the top. You have different option here. The most interesting is the cyber chef. You just have to click on this one and say that you just by the source. And Cyberchef is integrated to uh, Archim, and then it will automatically come up here, and then you can do all the recipe that uh, you want to find the information you're interested to. And I think that's it. Uh, maybe I can show the SPI graph here. Just show you a big, you know, big picture about what the top top traffic and connection. show you a wonderful graphic here if i probably can remove the filter here and we should see to see more if i do it this way and now you see all of the ip address the relation with each other and that's it for the introduction for our team thank you